Hey guys, it's Game Face here, and welcome back to episode 27 of So it's actually episode 26, uh, long story short, but the audio for episode 26 didn't save properly, and so I could either do a non-live commentary or just show you the goals from that episode, and then make episode 27 actually 26, if that makes sense. So basically, here were the goals from what was episode 26, uh, which by the way was a great episode just to make things worse. Uh, I made Messi a centre track in mid, I played him at centre mid as well. It's a shame that the audio from episode 26 um, didn't save, and so I am going to just be showing the clips and talking over them uh, and then we'll get on to a proper episode which will be within this video if that makes sense but anyway here we go this is the first opportunity of the game it's a game against Everton a grower plays onto the Roy Sané who takes a touch and then fires into the back of the net to make it 1-0 and that one is just inside 20 minutes so a great start to the game Leroy Sané scoring there um, now Messi plays it through as you can see Leroy Sané going to get there heads it back across the goal and it's De Bruyne who smashes it into the back of the net to make it 2-0 and uh, we have doubled our lead here against Everton into the second half now, uh, Messi plays onto Sané, who then smashes it home yet again. That's his second of the game. Um, great assist there for Messi as well. That makes it 3-0. Uh, Messi involved from deep this time, trying to run past uh, Keane and does so successfully. And then slots at home, past the goalkeeper, making it 4-0. That's how the game finished, and that might even be Messi's first goal, I think. Uh, but that's how the game finished. On to West Brom now. And uh, we got off to a great start there as well. Messi scoring his second, I believe, uh, since joining us now. It's a fantastic goal, eight minutes in. On to uh, Leroy Sané, who runs forward, looking for a cutback here. He finds it to Sanchez. It gets blocked, eventually deflects off Sanchez and into the back of the net. Not too dissimilar to Sterling's goal in real life that we saw recently. Up next was Nice, with that game finishing 2-0. He had a game against Nice. 70 minutes in, Joe Hart makes a mistake, passes it straight to them. They capitalise from it, and they go and make it 1-0, 70 minutes in. We needed a response, and the response is what we got. We played it short here to Raheem Sterling, who delivers into the box. De Bruyne puts it past uh, the goalkeeper into the back of the net, gets the equalising goal, with nine minutes left. We didn't have enough time to find the winner, and so that is how the game finished. Sadly, only getting a point there against Nice in the Champions League. And now that's you up to date, on to what was supposed to be episode 27. Enjoy. Hey guys, it's Game Face here, and welcome back to episode 27 of our Manchester City career. Now, in today's episode, we've got plenty of games to get through. The first game is going to be against Watford. That's in the league for us to play. It's a hope match. We're going to get through that one to begin with, and then a game against Tottenham just three days later in the Cup. A tough game, obviously, against Tottenham, so we've got to try and balance the team out a little bit between those two games, followed by a game against Arsenal four days later. So, three massive matches for today's episode, and uh, three games to finish off um, September as well. So, we'll be curious to see how we get on, how we cope in, obviously, a few different competitions there against a good. Uh, selection of sides as well. So before we get into things, if we could try and hit 100 likes on today's episode, I'd really appreciate it. Also, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well down below, and that'd be absolutely fantastic. I'd really appreciate that. And uh, let's crack on with today's episode. This is who I'm going to go with. A fairly strong team. There has been some changes. Uh, Edison starts in goal though. Carl Walker, Stone, Hernandez, and Mendy in defence. And it's going to be David Silva, Gundogan, and Messi in midfield with Sanchez, Aguero, and Zinchenko as our front three. So obviously some changes in preparation for that game against Tottenham in the Cup. Uh, but still a good enough side. Messi starting behind Aguero is obviously a good little combination. And uh, that's the bench that we've gone with. Yaya Torre getting on the bench here. We have just received a bid for Yaya Torre in between episodes. And we'll take a look at the bid now. Um, it's £6.7 million pounds by Leverkusen. Obviously, Yaya Torre has been transferred listed um, so it's a little bit tempting but his value is 7.5 and so I think for now I'm in no rush to get rid of him we'll, we'll reject the offer not even gonna bother negotiating uh, we'll just keep hold of him for now but anyway let's see what we get on against Watford let's get straight into things Aguero onto Messi it's a good start to this game Zinchenko on the left hand side gonna pull away for a cross maybe Zinchenko oh deflects towards the goalkeeper had to save that one nearly was gonna be an own goal there um, good start to the match though Zinchenko doing well Oh, ball into Gundogan. It's a great chance for a cross into the Zinchenko. Oh, again, couldn't quite be directed on goal. Uh, just about manages to stay out somehow. So close in the opening six minutes. We have had two really good opportunities to put us one up. Chance. Should be a 1-0. Great chance. Really, really good for Carlos Vea there. Comes inside on his left foot. Shoots really well. Hits it so cleanly, but just fractions wide. Uh, maybe Edison probably had that one covered, but great chance for Watford. First shot of the game. Messi, oh, through to Gundogan, he's now through, Gundogan, oh, saved by the legs of the goalkeeper. Aguero, now through to Zinchenko, great chance for Zinchenko, he's running through, can he make it 1-0, Zinchenko, oh, tracks it wide, so close, another great chance, we've had uh, plenty of opportunities inside the first 30 minutes, still remains 0-0 somehow though, a little bit gutted about that, Zinchenko maybe could have even had two goals himself, but 
Close, Zinchenko runs through, but still makes nil nil. Messi running forward. Can he get a shot away on his left foot? Oh, wow. Smashes at home into the top right-hand corner. And Messi gets it. I was thinking it was going to be on his right foot, to be honest, but ended up on his left. He had a great opportunity to score from, and he took it with his left foot. 42 minutes in about time we scored as well, just before half-time. Aguero and Messi linking up there going forward, and Messi just smashes this one away. Great finish, no stopping it, 1-0. Half-time winning the game, 1-0. Should be more, I think. Um, should definitely be more. Uh, but it does mean that we are just about in front here. We do need to try and get ourselves a couple of goals in the second half to give us a more secure victory at the moment. Um, we have had plenty of shots, but not quite converted enough of them. So, yeah, I need to try and get a couple of goals, ideally early on. But let's wait and see what happens. Great chance here for Zinchenko. It's in behind the fullback. Going to try and come inside now. On to Gundogan. Gundogan to shoot from range. Deflection. Thought it found the back of the net. Not quite, deflects wide, and out for a corner. Gundogan now himself to deliver. Go on, uh, a little bit behind. All three changes, Leroy Sané, Foden, and Yaya Torre, old squad. We're going to take off Gundogan, Zinchenko, and David Silva. Messi to go play as midfield now for the rest of the game, 23 minutes to go, and we'll see how he gets on. Still looking for a second and third goal. Can't believe it's taken us so long, we still haven't managed to do it, so uh, yeah, really frustrating, but... Got to try and get a second goal as quickly as possible now because I'm worried that later on this game Watford go forward and maybe create something. We nearly create something ourselves there. So, first time maybe. Oh, off the post. That's his first shot of the game. Lots of way to introduce himself. Nearly got the back of the net. Not quite. Aguero. Now through to Foden. He's ran through past the defence. Foden, can he get the shot right? Yes, he can. He scores the winning goal. Phil Foden, the youngster, the substitute as well, gets the second goal with 13 minutes to go. And he puts us two and up, doors our lead and gets, gives us the really important second goal that should see us through uh, with three points here. Fantastic, fantastic run from him. Agro just holds it up, does a really good job, but he makes the running behind us, Foden. And that's a really good run. Just slows himself down, prepares himself for a, a shot. And it's a great strike as well. Fantastic finish, 2-0. That should be game over. Foden over to Messi. Messi now through to Leroy Sané. Starting to tear them apart. Leroy Sané showed her ball and took it away. And the referee's not given anything, I don't think. Surely that should be a free kick. He missed the ball. Just about to lose this man still. Going to go for a cross. Delivery into Leroy Sané on the volley on his right foot. Foden's still there. And that header was never going to do anything. But surprising shot from Sané. Sané into Aguero still. Aguero waiting for Foden again. Foden! Oh, I've got to score it. Got to score it. Such a good chance, puts it just wide. That's it, got ourselves a 2 0 victory. It's three points for us, a clean sheet on top of that as well. Very happy, obviously, to get ourselves a win. These sort of games where you change around a few players, you can have slip ups here and there, but we didn't. We played well, um, so I think deserved the victory. Probably deserved a couple more goals as well. Uh, but yeah, could have maybe conceded one with that Calisfeya shot. It was a good shot, so I think maybe 10 minutes in or something. Um, so yeah, so overall, pretty happy with how he played. Coach with Watford's attack. Wasn't really uh, particularly present for most of the game, but we coped, so very happy about that. Let's go on to the Tottenham game now and try and get ourselves a victory in that. But first, some play drills. Going to go the exact same five drills yet again. Trying to train up Phil Foden, particularly his finishing, as we saw with that last chance. That should hopefully go up this week. Messi's obviously trying to go up on his stamina and bringing in uh, our youngster there from the Youth Academy to just try and go up in general. So we'll see what gets on. Uh, Foden didn't quite go up as much as I'd hoped, but there's always next week. Okay, this is the team for the game against Tottenham. I've made a few changes here and there. Edison starts in goal, Cal Walker company off. Some ending Gulam in defence. Goretz, De Bruyne, and Bernardo Silva in midfield with Sterling, Jesus, and Sané as our front three. Mafio, Davenport, Gunduan, Diaz, Foden, Coyote, and Aguero on the bench. So a changed bench. There's obviously some youngsters on there. Gives us a few different options if we are in a good position. Messi out of the team completely. Comes in for the game against Arsenal though next time round, um, as well a couple of other players as well. So overall, pretty happy with that team. Obviously, some changes, but I still think more than strong enough to be honest. Uh, we'll wait and see how we get on though against Tottenham. Okay, here we go at the Etihad Stadium for this game against Tottenham. I'll be interested to see exactly what sort of team they've put out. Obviously, it's a cup game, so they might have made some changes. Um, but so far, it looks a fairly strong team. So we'll see what sort of game we get. Oh, what a pass. What a pass from Gabriel Jesus. Onto Leroy Sané. He's going to have to shoot himself and he fires it into the back of the net. What a finish from Leroy Sané. But that is a hell of an assist there from Gabriel Jesus. Brilliant left-footed pass. I'm not saying I'm supposed to find that exact position, but he got there. That's the main thing. What a finish that is from Leroy Sané. Into the top right-hand corner. No stopping that. Vorm has absolutely no chance. Smashes it so hard. And it is 1-0. What a way to uh, begin this game against Tottenham. Fantastic finish. <sighs> It's the bar. Good chance for Tottenham. I don't know what that was there from Cal Walker. Luckily, Edison saves the follow-up. Sterling. 
Waiting for the overlap from Carl Walker. He gets it as well. Carl Walker into the middle. Sunny has to score it. It's a second. It's as easy as that. Already leaves behind Leroy Sunny, who heads into the back of the net. And you're not stopping that. It's 2 0. And we've managed to score ourselves the second goal of the game. What an overlap from Carl Walker. And a cross on top of that as well. Takes a touch. The ball into the back post. Beats his full back to a great finish. 2 0. Carl Walker getting forward again. This time looking for a better run. He's going to get it here from Jesus. It's got to be a goal. He just about gets there. Is it going to trickle in? It does. And we'll take it. It's the third goal. It's a bit of a strange one, but we'll certainly take it. Kyle Walker opens up Tottenham. Jesus makes the right run. Eventually gets there. I think I'll go down as his goal, hopefully. Might have been an own goal. Couldn't quite tell. Hopefully just managed to stretch there and get it. He certainly celebrates. You see Kyle Walker coming inside there from the full uh, from fullback position. Slips the ball through. Gets a flick on, I think, and then slowly trickles towards the goal. Uh, Alderweireld, I think, might just about get there. We'll see. Has it gone down as an own goal or Jesus? Goes down to Jesus's. Jesus. Sterling wins it. Bernardo Silva. Sterling again blocks. De Bruyne again blocks. So many bodies being thrown in front of these shots now by Tottenham. It's 3-0. Not quite a half-time yet. They've not been able to cope with our quality. They've played a slightly changed team. That's cost them so far. Bernardo Silva still going. And uh, Sani should be offside, and he is. Jesus with a great turn past the defender, and that's the fourth goal. And again, it's come from poor play from Tottenham. It's Vaughan who tries to sort of a goal kick that's not quite full power. He sort of under hits it, and we win it back in midfield. We allow Jesus uh, to pick up the ball in front of the two centre backs, turns the, the two centre backs. Goretzka there beats Oliver to it, just beats both the centre backs with a little turn there, Jesus. And it's poor defending. They shouldn't both commit to him like that, but it's a great finish on top of that. Vaughan unable to save it. It's 4 0 now. Tearing them apart, um, but yeah, it's their fault for making bad decisions and playing a, a changed team. Half time, 4 0, 2 for Jesus, 2 for Leroy Sane, great first half. We might look to the bench um, early on, I think, in the second half. Not a half time, though. Uh, we'll keep things the same for now, but I certainly don't think it'll be too long before I bring on some more youngsters. It's an injury, and it's an injury to oh, it's De Bruyne. It's not good news. He's holding his leg or ankle somewhere like that. He's going to have to come off three minutes in. The changes will be made, or a change will be made to begin with. <sighs> frustrating, really frustrating because that could be a bad one. It really could. Devon Paul's going to come on, play as a whole midfielder. Um, I think we might also take off Bernardo Silva, bring on Foden, give him a go there. Uh, that's two changes to three minutes in. I think Coyote could be the next player to come on. Maybe Diaz, maybe Mafio, we'll wait and see. Certainly no need to bring on uh, Aguero or Gundogan before the game against Arsenal, but disappointed about De Bruyne getting injured. <sighs> very, very frustrating, but we'll see how long it is. Tottenham playing some good football. It's a great save, though, from Edison. To be fair, they could have uh, scored that chance. Good opportunity. Foden turns well. Now looking for Davenport with a through ball. It's found Sané. Oh, I tried to pass it to Davenport anyway. Didn't mean to find Sané, but nearly nearly worked. So the final change. Currently, is going to come on, play up front. Jesus will move over to the left-hand side. Sané will come off, and that means Diaz won't get to feature in this game. It was close, but I think uh, I want to try and carry up front with uh, the final 30 minutes left. Goretzka looking to deliver a ball in. Jesus is in there, and he scores it. I'm glad I didn't take him off, because that's 5-0 now. Gabriel Jesus gets the headed goal straight from the corner. Very, very close to taking him off. Was going to leave Leroy Sané on. Uh, part of me was thinking about doing that, but kept Jesus on. He scores straight away from the header, and uh, it's a great delivery, great ball in, and a fantastic header. For some reason, didn't manage to uh, get beaten to it. It looks like it was going to be by Wanyama, but he wasn't. And he wins it and uh, comes off the post and into the back of that. It's 5-0 now. Complete demolishment of Tottenham, who have looked very weak. Uh, made loads of changes to the team and it's really cost them in this game. Coyote. Now onto Jesus. Now going to wait for Coyote to get into the middle. Looking for that pass across or maybe a cutback. Or into Sterling who blocks it. Oh no, what has gone there? Don't know why it found Sterling, but it's a corner anyway. No idea what's gone on, but very, very close. Tottenham again continues to make more changes, bring on more and more youngsters every time. Carter Vickers this time coming on. No wonder they're losing the game 5-0. They're really heavily experimenting late on in this game. I suppose they have nothing to lose. Foden now onto Coyote. Could this be a sixth? Coyote! It is. The substitute adds a sixth to the scoreline. I mean... What can you expect, really, from this sort of Tottenham team when you're not playing very well and with a weak team? And we're playing with one of our better sides and we're in great form. So 6-0, six minutes left as well, so there's still time for more. But Foden with the assist this time, great pass, good finish as well. And, uh, yeah, finds the bottom left-hand corner, winning the game 6-0 against Tottenham. Absolutely thrashing in the cuppa. 6-0, what a victory. What a victory. Jesus' hat-trick as well on top of that makes things even better, of course. Great to see him get three goals in this game. 
for me, in terms of in-game performance, he's our best striker. Um, I think Aguero has been a little bit out of form, a little bit inconsistent, but uh, he obviously does start and he will continue to, to start and Aguero as well. So we will be rotating between the two, but in terms of in-game performances, Jesus for me is the best striker we have. Uh, gets himself a hat-trick in this match. Obviously six goals against Tottenham, absolute thrashing. Really happy about that. Sane gets himself two, Jesus gets three, and obviously the sixth goal was put in by Coyote late on. So very happy about that. Uh, Tottenham struggled. Change team, that's that's the reason why we won the game. They had a change team and they didn't play well on top of the fact that our team was much better and we played well. So not a good combination for them, but uh, quite rightly we won this game very, very comfortably. Uh, 15 shots, 10 on target, 6 goals. At the same time, they had 7 shots, 6 on target. They could have scored some goals, they just didn't take their chances. Okay, so De Bruyne is injured. Let's see how bad it is. Uh, 6 months. 6 months. With a broken tibia, that's bad. That's really bad, actually, isn't it? That's basically the rest of the season. Six, six months. I, oh, I can't believe it. Well, you know, we are very lucky that we do have a strong team. I mean, he, you know, taking De Bruyne out is still a strong side, but you want your best players, and De Bruyne is one of our better players in midfield. He creates a lot of things for us, but we do still have a good midfield, so we're lucky with that sense. I'm glad we brought in Goretzka now. I think he's obviously helped out massively, but Adam Silva's in good form. Um, we obviously have all the midfielders that can play, but so gutted that six six months is ridiculous. But it's happened. I'm sure we'll cope with it. Um, but yeah, just gutted to see him be out for so long. Okay, so what's the final game of today's episode against Arsenal? This is the team I've gone with. Obviously, without De Bruyne, um, we have had to make one or two changes, but still, it's a really strong team. I forgot about Messi, obviously, being in the side, so that we do have another midfield place that's taken right now. So, Edison starts in goal. It's the usual defence. Stones and Mendy come in. Uh, Goretzka, Bernardo Silva and Messi in midfield. Sterling, Aguero and Sané is our front three. So, Aguero comes into the side. Jesus drops to the bench. Got to try Aguero out. Got to keep going with him. Obviously, not at any point. Just going to drop him and just play Jesus, but we obviously need to try and rotate between the two because the amount of games you have to play. You can see the rest of the bench as well, there's plenty of different options there for us. We'll see if we get some tough game potentially against Arsenal, hopefully though, uh, if we're on the same sort of form as the last game, that we should come away with a good victory here. Okay, it's the final game of today's episode, it's at the Emirates against Arsenal. They seem to have fewer players on the pitch, but I think that's because they play far at the back, I just can't see many of them, but yeah, it should be an interesting game, we'll be uh, very curious to see how we break down a far at the back. Could be tricky, might not be, we'll wait and see. Uh, so far, a great start to the game. Messi turning and shooting on his right foot just two minutes in. Sterling coming in size, still going Raheem Sterling. Oh, into Aguero and just couldn't keep hold of it. Sterling maybe commits a foul and I'd have given that a foul to be fair, but not given out for a corner. Then out of Silva to deliver into the box. Can you pick anybody out? Yes, Stones off the bar. Close, really close. Ball through to Aguero. He's going behind Koscielny, who catches up, but Aguero's still going, Aguero, oh, he scores, there we go, that's the way we wanted to start the game, with a goal, Koscielny, poor defending, just allows Sergio Aguero to win it back off him, and I said Aguero is a little bit out of form, maybe not quite as good as Jesus in game, but he's still got himself a goal here, and he's trying to prove me wrong, definitely, with that, wins it back off Koscielny, who I think temporarily might have had control of the ball, I mean, he seemed like he did there, but then suddenly Aguero came out of nowhere and got the finish perfect, it's 1-0, and a great way to open the game. Sterling going for a cross, what a ball in, Aguero, oh, hits it on the volley, he's definitely proven me wrong, it's 2-0, two, 2 for Sergio Aguero, and what a delivery from Raheem Sterling, there we have it, it's uh, 27 minutes in, 2-0 now, and Aguero well on for a hat-trick here, great start to the game, what a finish on his left foot as well, he's on for the perfect hat-trick, just needs a header, and that will be a perfect hat-trick for him, um, but a really good delivery from Sterling, just the way that he beats his man here, lovely curling cross as well, and no one marking Aguero, so quite rightly, he finishes it off as easy as that. Well played, Sergio wins it back off the defender, Aguero, oh, thought it was the third, hits the bar and goes out, so close, really good chance, can't believe that, just didn't quite find the back of the net, it's obviously a great shot, it's obviously a very tricky angle as well, not expecting him to score from that sort of position, uh, poor defending though, we won that ball far too easily from an Arsenal point of view, um, but so close to a third, oh, I thought we got it again, this time Goretzka puts it wide, so close to a third goal before half-time. Half-time, winning the game 2-0. Obviously in a great position right now in front of Arsenal. Very happy with how we've uh, played in the first half in particular. Arsenal, very few chances, but most of the possession, surprisingly. Uh, so yeah, could have maybe had a third goal, but um, still remains 2-0. Obviously looking for the third goal. Hopefully in Aguero hat-trick, but any third goal will do. Silva into Aguero. Now Messi, Aguero got taken out there. It's got to be a foul and a yellow card for Cashel. It's a really bad challenge on Aguero. Could have easily been an injury on top of that. Hopefully not. With 30 minutes left, that's going to be a booking there for the defender. It's a terrible foul. Quite rightly, given a card. You can see just the way he dives in on Aguero just as he plays it. 
Terrible challenge. Can we punish them here, though, with this free kick? Obviously, Messi's great at free kicks. Um, I'm absolutely not, so we'll see. It's obviously one that's going to curl towards Czech if it finds anywhere near the, the goal. It will, and it's nearly found the back of the net. Aguero gets the perfect hat-trick if it counts. It does as well. Sergio Aguero scores the header, and that's the perfect hat-trick for him. What a free kick from Messi, though. He came off the bar, I think, in the end, and... Was completely surprised that that even happened, but came off the bar, dropped down, didn't quite go uh, over the line. Managed to find um, Aguero somehow, who dipped it over check. Very, very strange goal. We'll take it, it's 3-0, and it's Aguero hat-trick as well, a perfect hat-trick for him. Such a strange goal, but definitely deserved based on the, the chance that we created, and that messy free kick as well. First of is Diaz and Gunduan to come on. We're going to take a Bernardo Silva and Goretzka. Goretzka booked, Bernardo Silva... Just a little bit small, wanted to try and bounce out the midfield with a bit of a bigger player to win back the ball. So Messi's going to drop back into centre mid, Diaz at centre attacking mid, gives him off a free roll. Uh, we'll see how that goes, 25 minutes left. Aguero, through to Gundogan, what a pass. Can the substitute score a fourth? Yes he can, he finishes it off, as 4-0. That is well and truly game over now. He's going to be on the pitch a couple of minutes, but he makes a great run. Aguero holds it up fantastically. It's three goals, one assist for Aguero, and it's Gundogan with the other goal in the game. 23 minutes left, tearing Arsenal apart, just like we did with uh, Tottenham. Don't know why we've suddenly sort of brought out this sort of form. In crazy form at the moment. Uh, might have to look to tweak the difficulty if it continues, but for now, it's certainly just two really good results. Zaha now going to shoot. He does score. Um, I think that might be his payback of me uh, criticising the £40 million pounds that Arsenal paid for him. Uh, which I still think is completely unjustified. But he scores, pulls him back for Arsenal. It's 4-1, 15 minutes left. Good finesse, to be fair to him. Finds a roll inside there. Company should do better. Steps to the side too much. Allows space for him to shoot. Scores. No no stopping it, really. Good finish. Still not worth £40 million. Sterling into Diaz. He's ran on beyond the defence here. Diaz now going to shoot himself. That's a fifth. 5-1, restores our four-goal lead. And it's the youngster, it's the substitute Diaz who scores it. Great finish, really good finish, takes in his stride, runs beyond the defence as well, which is good to see, beyond all the strikers as well, and it's a great finish, no stop of that, 5-1, and that's more like it. That's a 5-1 victory, really good result for us, um, Jesus obviously scored a hat-trick in the last game against Tottenham, Aguero responded with his own hat-trick, great response from him, especially after I said that he wasn't one of our better strikers, in, he wasn't our best striker in the game I should say, um, certainly Jesus seemed to be proving over the many games recently that he was going to be a better one, but Aguero's come out and scored a hat-trick, and uh, certainly looks much better than he has done in recent times, so that's good to see, and uh, that means that there's going to be a real fight on for this golden boot, especially in the league, uh, so looking forward to that, it's 10 rating on top of that for Aguero as well, uh, 3 shots, 1 on target for Arsenal and they scored it. And that concludes today's episode. Um, really good episode. Very happy with how many goals we've scored. We'll take a look now exactly how many we've got in the league in, in terms of different players, how many uh, they are on and we don't even have top goal scorer. Bizarre stuff. Uh, Aguero gets, is on 5 goals just behind Bittercourt. B Bitten, never heard of him. He's Bittercourt. No idea. Uh, Messi's also on 3 as well. Chibitsky there for Leeds uh, in 7th place. Also on 3. The same amount of goals as Messi. So, Chibitsky, Messi, very, very similar players, clearly. To be fair, I really do rate Chibitsky in this game. He's fantastic. He's barely had a chance in real life. But anyway, that's everything for today's episode. Thank you all so much for watching. If we could try and hit 100 likes, then I'd really appreciate it. Also, feel free, if you use the channel, to go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well down below, and that'd be absolutely fantastic. I'd really appreciate it. Let's try and hit 100 likes on today's episode. That'd be great. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.